Let me read okay, it, read. Fifth. Oh my God. Sorry I can no longer Shut help you penis. guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Dinner Thieves in Peter's J. Oh, that's why I get tired. I was like, Dinner Thieves get tired. Yo, that's yeah, that's drama. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know that that was going on. You know, I can't wait to run into him again. See, what you going to say to him, Phil? Puffy was playing with your booty in Miami. <laughs> you know it was in Miami. <laughs> Yo, look, that's what James Cruz used to say all the time. Miami, Miami. He's like, Miami. I'm like, what's the matter? What you talking about, Miami? Goodness, what happened in Miami? Did 50 Cent really expose Diddy's true sexuality by revealing his relationship with another man? Well, rumors about Diddy being gay are not really new. Although there are some people who try to drop hints about Diddy, many are still trying to keep quiet about the things that they know. It may be because Diddy paid them to be quiet about this issue, or they just really do not want to get involved. No matter what their reasons are, there are quite a number of proofs and evidence that is making people believe that Diddy is really gay. As you may already know by now, 50 Cent is one of the few people that is really consistent in throwing shade at Diddy. Sometimes it leaves people wondering if he hates Diddy or he just wants to really expose him and provoke him into admitting what his true identity is. In a viral video, Diddy seemed to be jokingly punching 50 Cent when he was about to talk about some juicy stuff about him. Really open and broadening everybody's horizons. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was, I was looking, I was looking for you. I told, tell you, get your hand out my pocket, man. Get, get your hand out my pocket. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing on the channel. Get your hand out my pocket, man. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I see yo, yo. I see what you're doing. I see, I see what you're doing, man. I see what you're doing. Nah, nah, it was like he was warning 50 Cent to not talk about the things that he should not be talking about. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with being homosexual, but instead of letting people talk about his real identity, people are wanting Diddy to address this rumor for a very long time already. Besides, there were quite a lot of proof surrounding this one as well. Some people who used to be close to him, like his former bodyguard Gene Deal, had talked about some interesting facts as well. All right, here we go. Today, we are honored to welcome Gene Deal. Uh, Gene did extensive security work for Bad Boy Records and was on the scene as Puffy's personal bodyguard. And then he, he picked like a, quite a few of them down. I'm like, okay. He put them in the bag. And when I went by there and I looked up there, I, and it said butt plugs. I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time a long time ago oh, at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Everybody see, don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> Buffy do some like, like, little fluffy stuff. Now you guys on. are all in some hip hop beef, okay? Nah, <laughs> yeah. Nobody got nothing to do with it. In response to Jaguar Rai's accusations about Diddy, Gene Deal had also said his piece about this issue, saying that he was the one who actually saw what happened in different situations. He said that there are some truths about what Wright said about Diddy. People are also pointing out the beef between Puff and 50 Cent because it seems like 50 Cent is always taking a jab at Diddy every chance that he gets. I mean, what is his issue really? It almost looks like he's so keen on exposing Diddy's true identity even though he would not be getting anything out of it. Before we talk about all the times that he hinted on Diddy's homosexuality, let us first talk about 50 Cent and his take on gay people. Many rappers in the industry are against gay people and we do not really know what is the reason behind this. I mean, does it affect their manhood and does it hurt their masculinity whenever they see gay people? Although that does not make any sense, people should really keep in mind that they should not have any say in how people identify themselves. Let us put it out here first and foremost, there is nothing wrong with this and if people are not comfortable with homosexuality and the topics surrounding that, then they should not attack people personally if they think that they are not straight. So in his interview for Playboy magazine, 50 Cent pointed out the fact that he's not comfortable around gay people and that he does not want to be associated with them. It is so clear that he is being homophobic with his statement, just like the other people in the rap industry. This could be the reason why he's so eager to drag Diddy for his sexuality. But before we get deeper into the video, if you love to see more updates and news about Diddy and 50 Cent, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel. I will always keep you on the loop about the latest news about these people. Uh, was, like, <laughs> Have you ever met Diddy? Yeah. Okay, did he ask you to party? Yeah. Party, party? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Don't now, going back to our video, in one of his interviews with The Breakfast Club, 50 Cent had made another comment about this. Though he never directly said that Diddy is gay, he pointed out this interview of Diddy making other guys uncomfortable. In Puff's defense, he said that he must not just be thinking so much on his choice of words. 
He added that he really does not care because he's not homophobic in the first place to give meaning about these things. That makes total sense though. He might not be addressing issues about him being gay because he really does not care so much about how people see him. But 50 Cent is not done with his agenda yet. There are also rumors circulating about this disturbing things that are happening on Diddy's parties. Okay, who would also forget about 50 Cent's Instagram post? In that post, he shared some interesting pictures of Diddy with other men. In one of the pictures, Diddy and Ross were captured in an angle that looks like they're almost kissing. In the other picture, he was with Steve Stout. 50 Cent captioned this post with, I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right, LMAO. Of course, 50 Cent received a backlash because of this and decided to remove the picture later on. He made it look like being gay is something that is not right and people were quick to call him out. I mean, why does he care so much though? Although the picture has long been deleted, it already circulated and I bet that you would still be able to find it on the internet once you look for it. 50 Cent even tried to say that James Cruz and Diddy were gay for each other. When Diddy saw this interview of James, he said that James should never speak to him ever again. Obviously, 50 got so much anger in him for no good reason. But we will never see any confirmation from Diddy himself about the issue, will we? We'll see about that, but one thing is for sure though, many are already believing this, especially since Gene, his former bodyguard, had dropped some hints as well. He talked about how Diddy would ask him before to guard the door and not to let anyone inside. He also denied being paid by Diddy to keep quiet about the issue. He said that no one paid him, and it looks like he was also proud of Wright for taking a brave step in exposing these people in the industry, even some of the biggest names there are. There were even speculations of Diddy taking advantage of his power and influence to satisfy his pleasure. I mean, sure, he could be whoever he wants, but we just hope that he would not use his money and power to take advantage of other young artists. Not admitting is one thing, but what is allegedly doing to other people is kind of creepy and disturbing. Do you think that he would ever admit to his sexuality, or is he going to address this anytime soon? I would love to know your thoughts, so comment them down below. So, people are really believing this rumor because many other personalities have talked about this already, like Wendy Williams. Remember when she talked about Diddy being gay but she later on apologized for saying those things? That really did not stop the people from speculating and entertaining the possibility even more, especially when Jaguar Riot had also talked about it. We know Riot as someone who exposes some of the dirtiest and darkest secrets of people in the music industry. Many of her accusations are actually true. In Riot's story, this lawyer who used to work with Puff had told her that she walked in on Puff and Christopher Williams doing some things. The lawyer said that Diddy told her that he can do whatever he wants in his building even if he asks some nasty things for a demo deal. You see, he is taking advantage of this chance. Again, there is really nothing wrong with however you want to identify yourself, but not to that extent, hopefully. Let us go back to Gene Deal for a moment because he also said that Puff was often sexually fluid and that he once took an exhibit to a gay club. There was also this time when he went shopping with Diddy and Diddy bought a bag full of adult toys. He said, I know that for a fact because I was right there. Diddy was also asked if this is true that he asked 50 Cent to go shopping with him to which he answered, yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. Of course, 50 Cent had declined this offer and even went on to say that he declined because he felt that he was being treated like a girlfriend. Diddy also spoke about how there is no beef between him and 50 Cent and that 50 Cent actually love him. Well, if there is one thing that we are sure about, 50 Cent obviously does not like Diddy and he is not even trying to be professional with him. There were also a lot of proofs talking about Diddy being gay but none of them were even addressed by Diddy himself. I mean, he would occasionally slip some information from time to time but like he's always saying, he must just not be thinking so much about his words. In another interview, Diddy also made Kevin Hart uncomfortable by mentioning how it was like when he and Usher were still living together. Also, even though he did not admit to any of these accusations, people noticed something about his verse in a song. Well, he's really not required to talk about his sexuality and no one can push him to talk about it either. But these accusations will never stop unless he addresses it and besides, he knows that there is really nothing wrong about being gay. Then why is he so afraid to admit to it even though there are already a lot of proof about it? I mean, he sure is aware about the stigma in this rap industry, but he does not need to follow the perspective of his rap family anyway and he can be whoever he wants knowing that he is also a known personality. 50 Cent would certainly still be throwing shade on Diddy, but we are still curious why is he so interested in his sexuality in the first place? 
I mean, of all the people who already have some personal issues and rumors, why is he so keen on targeting Diddy? Oh well, it could be insecurity or another reason perhaps. But what do you think it could be though? We would love to know more about this and surely rumors will never stop anytime soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out these videos.